it is day three of my video logging experience and I'm really cold right now. <sighs> um, I am in the dungeon of my house, also known as the basement, and in the last two houses I've lived in I've been a little more used to it being a little cozier downstairs. And down here it's, as you can see, there. I am in front of a, a brick wall and the basement is entirely made of brick walls because this house was built um, in the 1930s with no real um, conception of warming of any type apparently. So people here just like to freeze their fucking asses off. Now, the reason I'm down here in the basement rather than upstairs um, recording or whatever is because uh, I was in my room uh, I was doing my homework, my dad comes in, he makes small talk, and then he stays in, and he didn't leave ever. And so, uh, he, well, to his, uh, oh, see, I'm so cold, I can't even talk. P -p -p Poker face, um, holy fuck, okay, so, uh, my brother plays, um, baseball, a lot. He loves baseball, and so my dad um, is an artist, and he loves to draw and paint and all the stuff and airbrush, all that. And uh, he came up my my room because he was coming up to look at one of my graffiti books or whatever that I own uh, to get some in ideas or inspiration for design for my brother's baseball helmet. And so comes up, grabs a book. An hour and a half later, he's still there. He's drawn away, sketching, drawn little bubbly letters, and going on about how he is going to be the first uh, father of his age in a graffiti gang. So I decided it would be best to head down south and record my video log in peace uh, because I was starting to get a little freaked out. Now, uh, today was actually a good day. I went to school. I... Uh, got a good amount of my homework done during the school day. I started a new book in English called Maltese Falcon, a very good detective story, uh, hard-boiled detective style, better than uh, the classical Sherlock Holmes style, in my opinion. And, uh, you know, I read a few chapters into that. It's a pretty good book so far. Uh, holy fuck, it's cold. Icy. Um... My brain is, like, freezing. I'm sorry. I think brain cells are just dying at a constant rate because of how fucking cold it is down here. Pardon my French, but it's freezing. It's sub-zero. You don't understand. Now, uh, this is my dad's work studio where he does all his artistic stuff. And I don't know, maybe my dad's Mr. Freeze or something because this is a terrible place to work on things. But it is a good place for industrial craft, I guess, so... That's a plus. Um, today, my uh, director on a new Machinima project called Flesh Candy uh, Related to Zombies, he, uh, his name's Corey, he actually threw 70 bucks my way, just kind of randomly as uh, a thank you for my help so far with him, you know, in his endeavors in Machinima, as well as, you know, um, let's see, uh, a first up payment. Uh, for my work as a writer on his series. And so I really appreciated that. Um, Corey, if you're watching this, thank you very much. I uh, really appreciated the $70. Uh, I was dying right now. Uh, my wallet's dry, so now that'll tide me over for a few weeks, I'm sure. Um, yeah, and I was really grateful. It was really nice of him. Uh, it's, I just tell my dad it's cool with this sort of thing because there have been times in the past where with Stephen Carl, for example, I don't want to get too much into it, but, um, I offered my help on the series, and I did what I did, I was a co-director, and I also wrote the story, and, you know, helped a little bit with cinematography and all this stuff, and I was promised, uh, 40% of, um, the final pay that we would get from machinima.com for it. It's been over a year now. I didn't receive anything. It's one of those things where it's like I was being told I was going to be paid and then I never was. Whereas with Corey, you know, he's a trusted friend of mine for years and, you know, I never asked for anything from him, really. 
And so it's cool because, you know, I was just working like normal and he gives me $70. I'm like, thank you. That's awesome. Like, I appreciate those things in life and that's the kind of person I try to be for other people as well. So, um, you know, pay it forward. <laughs> um, God, what else is I going to say? It's, I know I've said it like nine times that it's way too fucking cold in this basement, man. It's not normal. It's freaky. Well, this is going to be my band rehearsal space once I actually get a band going again, hopefully sooner than later. Uh, since this is this has like some brick walls everywhere, it's we've got all our uh, musical stuff down here. I'll show you in another video because I don't feel like turning the camera because I don't want to move because I'm really cold. Now, uh, I want to give a shout out to a few people uh, that I think you maybe should check out on YouTube. Uh, maybe don't get enough attention. One of them is my friend Corey, who has, who I am now a part of his machinima group, New Scape Productions. He uh, is from Boston, Massachusetts. He is a sophomore in high school, and he's very good at what he does. He makes a lot of machinima videos um, as far as series and movies go, and he also makes um, gameplay videos such as, you know, walkthroughs and uh, how-tos and gaming tips for Call of Duty and first person shooter shit and whatever that was like a totally Sarah Palin thing to do I'm sorry um he um I don't know he's one of my better friends I think he deserves a bit of a shout out here I also want you guys to follow uh, a girl named Owl Eyes Everyone I knew her from my old town her name is Morgan uh she's really cool she's very quirky uh got into vlogging I think a couple months ago because uh, she's really into, you know, the whole YouTube community of the really popular vloggers like Shay Carl and uh, Shane Dawson, all those kinds of guys, I believe. And so, I think she even goes to the conventions and stuff. So, uh, recently she got an HD camera as well, and so she has uber elite quality in her videos, and she said, I do the straightforward, I'm going to talk into the camera like a diary uh, confession kind of thing, where she, you know, does the whole uh, cut sequencing stuff where it's... Uh, so it's more comedic, it's quirky, it's entertaining. I like it. I like to watch her videos from time to time, and I think you guys should check them out because uh, she's done the favor of uh, subbing me as well as, you know, giving me a few comments here and there. But, um, yeah, and I also want to give another shout-out to uh, a woman named Jeanette. I've known her since I was in fourth grade when her daughter was the first girl I ever loved, an angel named Janice. She recently had a kid, um, beautiful child, and uh, just want to thank you guys for watching my videos so far, and uh, I don't know, it's cool, I've already gotten a lot of feedback on my videos um, at this point, and even though I haven't been doing this for that long, and uh, I just think it's cool, because I feel like I'm connecting, like you know, I was worried about in the last video, so three days in, um, I'm gonna, I want to do this all year straight and uh, then some because I don't feel like stopping I feel like this is something I should do every day and I feel like I'm gonna write a blog post a couple times a week too just so I can get my writing uh, material in once in a while as well as uh, a podcast because I got this book um, called Music Listography um, that asks you to fill in lists based on musical taste and that sort of thing like uh, name your favorite musical movies or name your uh, top 20 bands uh, your favorite rappers that sort of thing so I'm going to make a music podcast and put it on my blog to kind of um, document my taste in music. Just because uh, it sounds kind of pretentious, you know, I've got this uh, this, this little video uh, log as well as, you know, blog posts and poetry. And then I've got this podcast now and it's like uh, Gibson Island over here. Um, but I don't know. I feel like it raises my self-esteem a bit. And I, I don't know. I enjoy putting out content to people if they enjoy watching it. So, I mean, why not? Um, yeah, I am enjoying going back to school, even though it's cold as fuck in Minnesota, and I hope you guys uh, had a Monday that was better than usual. Um, I know we all hate Mondays, just like Garfield, so... Yeah, I think I'm done rambling for the night. Um, sleep warm. Yes, that's the best thing I can think of for a closing line. Um, see you tomorrow.